DNA replication is the creation of a complete identical set of chromosomes or the genetic material DNA in preparation for cell division. Each cell has 46 chromosomes in its nucleus and after cell division both of the new cells need to also have 46 chromes in each of their nuclei. So all of that genetic material needs to be copied, exact identical copies, before that cell division can take place. Now recall that a DNA is a nucleic acid made up of repeating nucleotides composed of a deoxyribose sugar, a five carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogen containing base that juts out to the middle. Now these bases hydrogen bond with the bases on the opposite strand of a molecule of DNA and they follow a certain set of base pairing rules where certain bases only bond with each other. In this case, A always bonds with T and G always bonds with C. Now those base pairing rules are important because that's a mechanism for making exact identical copies during DNA replication. We call this complementary base pairing. And in general, the overview of DNA replication, we see that DNA has to be unwound. Those hydrogen bonds have to be broken between the bases. And then we make complementary strands to each of the original ones. So take a look at this model here. We've got two original strands of DNA. Now we're not showing the sugar phosphate backbone of the molecule. We're just implying each of the two strands by showing just the nitrogen containing bases. The G's, the C's, the A's, and the T's. And furthermore you can see on this model that G is always bonding with C and T is always bonding with A and vice versa. So these are the hydrogen bonded nitrogen bases of each of the DNA strand. Now that those two strands are going to be unwound and then complementary base pairing will occur on each of those original strands. Notice that each of the new strands are exactly identical to each other, thus we have made complete copies to each other, and furthermore each of the two new molecules is exactly identical to the parent molecule that was first created. Now in the process of replication a DNA molecule is unwound like we were just saying, and that unwinding is performed by a special enzyme called helicase and called helicase because it unwinds the DNA helix. It breaks those hydrogen bonds between bases and unravels the original strands. And you can see now that the original parent strands are what we call a template for the new strands that will be created. The second phase of replication is called elongation where now another enzyme, DNA polymerase, will build the complementary strand by base pairing to the original template strand. So here you see a DNA polymerase molecule. When it sees this A, it will add the complementary base T, and so on. And it has been working in this direction. Whereas on the other one, because of the directionality of replication, multiple DNA polymerase molecules need to be at work on this strand. But again, just complementary base pairing the entire way down the strand. So if we look at the two new molecules, again we see they are exact identical copies to each other. But furthermore, they're what we call semi-conservative. This process is semi-conservative, meaning that each of the new molecules consists of one of the original strands of DNA, and in this case we call this the old strand, and, one of the and the other strand of the molecule is the new strand that was newly created. 